Hi everybody, we're playing Crazy Pixel Streaker. Woo! By Lubertirum. Lou Bite Rum. Lou no, it's Lou Bite Rum now. Lou Bite Rum. No, we, we, we had spent like a good solid five Oop. minutes deciding that it was Lubitarum. This is a very difficult studio name to pronounce, and to be no. fair, it's a Spanish studio, actually. Oh. Uh. uh, but they, uh, they sent me the, a build of this game because they want us to play it. Sure. That sounds cool. So we're going to play it because it's a fun game. All right, so Igor, let's, let's do this. Igor. So basically, we kill all the enemies, we pick up followers, which turn into bombs and cars. <laughs> Apparently, there are weapons. I don't think I've ever seen it. Blah, 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 controls. Let's fly! Well, so if you ever like wanted to fall. streak in a football Foot. stadium... The football. Because it's football for them Spanish peoples. Because uh, it's soccer, you know? All the angry Japanese men. Oh, shit. My controller stopped vibrating. Yay! Oh, yeah, we... <laughs> <laughs> when we were testing out the game, just to be like, all right, can we actually play this two-player? Like, let's figure out... Oh, my God, I'm already dying. Uh, at some point, Kuja's controller just, like, started vibrating uncontrollably. Yeah, I, we couldn't get it to stop. And he was just like, well, this is going to be an interesting playthrough. Yeah. Why are there angry Japanese men on the field? I thought they were just, like, security people. Why do they have to be Japanese? I don't know. So we got a bunch of controls. I got this little squirt gun, but I don't think it actually does anything other it than... It stuns them? It, like, pushes them away. Do you think it actually stuns them? Yeah, it does. It made that dude mad. Oh. Well, don't make him mad. Um... So I think the main people we need to kill are the security people, but we can kill other people too. Yeah. Um, the the funny thing I find about this game is that we're streakers, right? Like. Yeah. But we're murdering people. Yeah, we're just like beating the hell out of this everybody. This is for protest. <laughs> and collecting their money. Yeah, we're we're classy streakers. <laughs> but when when we when you start the game, it uh it loads it shows a definition of streaking, and it's like you know it's a. Uh, Form of protest can do it for a prank. Oh, help me! Uh, help I, me! I died. Oh, that's also, cool. thanks. Hey, bro. but look, I did better than you. Shut up. <laughs> <sighs> it's my first time streaking. Okay. It was your first time streaking. You did. You did fine. You did fine. Oh, get out from under me! <laughs> hit the plane! Hit the plane! Hit the plane! Oh. I I really wish that something could would happen with that. Yeah. I so I this game is really interesting because. Like, the pixel art isn't, like, the greatest thing in the world. Like, it's, it's okay. It's not bad. It's not bad by any means. Um, but that opening sequence of just, like, flying down to the field is awesome. Yeah. Yeah. That was actually what, what caught my attention when I first started looking at the game. I was like, okay, well, maybe I will check this out. It looks kind of yep. good. Looks like we have to pause. All right. We'll be right oh! oh, God. Why did you... Oh, you suck. Yeah, I didn't give you a warning. No. I don't remember what we were talking about, but we got some awesome Thai food. Yeah, it's gonna be good. Mm, oh, so I got good. some garlic chicken. Oh. oh, oh, oh. So I wonder if um, there's any actual point to collecting these coins. Like they're they're. Oh, I'm dead. Mike. Can you save me? Oh, you can save me. There is a point oh. to playing with friends. Uh, you give on. me little hearts. I can only do so much. That's true. Um, uh, but yeah, I don't know if the coins actually do actually do anything. I think they're they are planning on having some sort of upgrade system at some point. Yeah, they're otherwise what the hell is the point? R right, exactly. Otherwise Damn. it's just a, a you know, short little game that probably should be free, but if it has an upgrade system, like a or some sort of meta mechanic at least, then yeah. it's like, yeah, alright. I like it. It's simple and it's construction. Um Gotta switch it up, man. Fine. I'm gonna be John. Jahan. Jahan. Jean. Jean Valjean. I really do like the pixel art. I think this plane flying over, well, under us at this point is ridiculous. This is uh, an interesting intro because it gives you an opportunity to get some more uh, bonus items, but also when you land, you can potentially land on enemies. That's true. Oh, this guy. I, oh, go away pick, from me. Picking up the coins in mid-flight, I think, it just really doesn't feel good at all, though. Because it's like, you have no sense of, uh... Jesus. You have no sense of, like, distance. So I find it very difficult to uh, pick up the coins. I think the, um... Uh, 
I don't know, either the perspective or the UI or mm -hmm. the scaling, something's off and it's really, really hard to like actually aim it. But at the same time, it's kind of arbitrary. Like, you only get a few extra coins, so it's like, is it really that big of a deal? It's right. probably not really worth the extra development time to tweak that and make it feel perfect. That's fair. Something else that's a little rough is that, like, the... I don't know, it just doesn't feel like you're really given a quite fair shake while dealing with all this, this massive group of enemies. What do you mean? I don't know, it... it maybe the controls aren't responding the way that they... Like it's really easy to get hurt? Yeah. I, I agree, which is actually funny because before we started playing, I, I actually did pretty good. And I only gave up because, uh... We needed to start recording, you know? Yeah, that's true. And, like, suddenly now, I'm just getting my ass whooped. Up oh, there we go. Save me! Yeah. Beat up those guys. That's one of your buddies. That's one of your followers. Oh, yeah, I know. So, uh, when we get revived, we get two health, it looks like. Interesting. Yeah, that's... I'm I sure mean, there, I'm it's... sure there'll be an upgrade for that. Like, you start... You'll, whenever you get revived, you earn more health back or something. Yeah, actually, I wouldn't be surprised. I know that there are items that will drop that will recover health, too. Although, they seem to, oh. to be pretty rare. <gasps> no. No. Don't get up yet. Help no. me. Help me. Get out of here. Get out of here. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Did it. Did it. Saved. <laughs> I did it. <laughs> saved your life. Congratulations. We did it. Oh, that's weird. You, have you noticed that you are consistently moving? Yeah. Actually, I kind of like huh. that. Um, because this is the kind of game where you probably don't ever really want to stop anyway. So A, it's kind of nice. It actually eases a lot of tension on your, your hand. Mm -hmm. um, but B, it actually kind of changes the way you, you play the game. But obviously, it took us a little while to notice. Oh my god, it's a trap! It's like I had no like clue it was coming. Oh. All time. oh, yeah. I got... Oh, I got an item! Yeah. <laughs> Well, I got dead. bottles of coke. Oh, that was so quickly consumed. So, our followers, believe it or not, actually has a mechanic. If we uh, collect enough of them, they turn into, like, bombs or cars, I guess? Yeah. Oh, I'm dead. Oh, God. Oh, what wow. the hell is going on with you? I don't know. <laughs> I think you were invincible. So you can throw your followers, yeah. Yeah. You've probably been Come doing that this whole time, but I think it's uh, hilarious. Uh, uh, Where am I? Here in the middle. Come get me. I can't. Oh, what oh the my. hell? Oh, yeah, no. <laughs> the difficulty curve of this game uh, uh, takes a pretty, uh, pretty hefty steep. Uh, Watermelon launcher? Nice. Oh. You missed the little pig down there. And look at that, I get all of that stuff. Shut up. <laughs> uh, it's fun, it's a nice little simple game. Um, the enemy the enemy design is kind of funny. Uh, those huge guys are ridiculous. Um, I could see though, after a bit of playing this game, that this intro sequence can get very old. Like yeah. it's cool and it's exciting, but you know, I could easily see... Well, I could okay. easily see myself if getting... Whoa! So, okay, say say the coins are actually used for an upgrade system. Right. Um, it, the, that intro sequence actually becomes nice because it is a way to basically ensure that the player will get at least some coins. Yeah. Saying that they're really, really bad and they just have a hard time killing anyone. Um, it's, a, it's kind of a fail-safe in the design. That's fair. Also, I'm about to die again. I feel like the collision is a little yeah, the, wonky. Uh, yeah. I think that's actually why you and I have been having a hard time taking damage. Oh my, I didn't even see what hurt me. Oh, get back over here. Man. Also, if you about? notice, there's a little mini-map on the bottom. Oh, I, yeah, I did. I don't know if it's really that necessary, but uh, I when I was testing out this game to see if it was any good, um, I actually found it a little useful with first one player mode because the camera's a lot more zoomed in. Yeah. So it actually becomes a lot harder to see where everyone is. Where are you? I'm dead. No you're not. You're in the top right corner. Oh, what? I came and saved you. Oh. I did not even <laughs> notice. Yeah. I mean good to know that running Chris off is in rare form today, people. <laughs> hey man, I got back from Gen Con early this all week. Alright, alright. And yes. I am exhausted. Arcane Duels is great at just like 
Sucking up all of your time. Sucking up all my energy and my time. Damn it, I just got health and lost it. Which Arcane Duels, I feel like we've mentioned them before. They're oh, yeah. another show on the uh, the Affinity Archives network. And uh, they do Mage Wars stuff. Yeah. Which, if you don't know Mage Wars, you should really check it out. Because as far as card games and board games or tabletop games go, they're, it's it's awesome. And Arcane Wonders is just a fantastic company. Yeah, I've heard really good things. Uh, it's, I don't know, it's one of those games that, like, it would take so much more brain power than I have at my disposal to really get into the game. Which is ex exactly why I'm only the editor. <laughs> Because um, I, I love Mage Wars, like, I think it's a really fun game, but at this point it's like, I can't keep my head in the strategy. Yeah. There's so much stuff going on, there's so many, like, really good conversations and strategists out there that it's, uh... I, wow. It takes a lot to keep up with it sometimes. And it's not even that it's, that, the, that there are a lot of cards released, it's literally just that people keep f learning new things or figuring out just better things. Oh, oh my god! That's horrifying and awesome. Live, yeah. live, live! I got you. I got you, buddy. And I don't think I took any damage. Nice! Meanwhile, I have. What am I doing? What is happening? I don't know, but I'm throwing bombs. Oh, it's like invincible mode. Oh, and I died. <laughs> <laughs> oh. I really want to see what the next wave is like. Hey, God, King of the Hill, I got a, I got a title for once. Hey, you did something. Good yeah. job, Cujo. All right, well, that's all we have for this episode. Um, check out this game. It's it's pretty fun, and yeah. it looks like they're continuing development. I think they're on green light right now, or trying to get green lit, if they haven't already. So, yeah, yeah check that out. This one was kind of fun. Yeah, it's, I mean, it needs some refinement, but... It still is fun. Definitely. So, uh, yeah. I mean, the demo's free, too, so go check it out. I think the demo's on their website. All that stuff is in the description. Go look at that. Do it. Do it. Do it. <laughs> Do it. Do it. All right, guys. Thank you for watching, and we will see you in the archive. Woo! Pew, 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 pew. What was that? <laughs>